Hello, I want to tell you how to make an object follow your cursor in the game. So currently, I just have a project with nothing in it apart from this object, which has been named cursor, and it's just got um, a black square, which I'm going to use as the cursor. That's all. There are no behaviors to it, nothing. So I'm going to go over and make a new event. I'm going to add a condition, and I'm going to do at the beginning of the scene. Now I'm going to add an action, and this is going to be create an object, and this object is going to be cursor. I'm going to set the uh, X position to mouse X, because this is going to set it to the mouse position on the X axis, and then mouse Y is going to set it to the mouse position on the Y axis. Uh, you can change this layer if you want. Currently, we're not going to do it, but if you want your mouse to show above everything else, then you want to change this layer to something called like cursor, which will be um, a higher priority over everything else so it can be seen. So now we have this done. We <coughs> have made a black square where our cursor was at the beginning of the scene. So now we're going to make a new um, event. We're going to add an action. So if you don't add a, a condition, then all of the actions that happen will be uh, done every frame of your game. So that will be roughly 60 FPS. <coughs> so at this, we want to set the position of our objects. So position of an object, cursor. We're going to set this to mouse X and set it to mouse Y. So what you'll see now is that our black square follows our cursor. Um, but you'll also see that the uh, top left of it goes where the cursor clicks. But we want the middle to go where the cursor clicks. Um, but you can change this if you've got your... If, if you have like a custom cursor you've made yourself, then you can change the point in it to where you want it to click and attach to your cursor. So here you can see it's very small. They haven't done a zoom function here yet. Um, but you can adjust the points. And so let's drag this red one into the middle because this is the uh, origin one which they're going to be using to... Um, that's the point they're using to put this object on the mouse. Then let's click apply and then click play. And you can see that the center of our black square is now at the point where our mouse is going to be clicked. So, how do we make the mouse hide? That's easy. We just search for hide and then hide the cursor. Okay, and that's done. Now we have our cursor in our game. And I can make it click on stuff and do all that cool stuff that cursors do. Also, if you want your cursor to always be um, above everything else, you can just type in Z order, Z order of the cursor to like a really high value, like 99999 or something. So uh, I hope this video tutorial helped you, and I hope you do well in your future game endeavors. Goodbye.